Welcome to eeepc.it. This is the review of the new EEE reader from ASUS called the R900 Wi-Fi version. This is the very first touchscreen digital e-reader. It is from ASUS, it's called the R900. Let's see what's inside the box. We first discover an envelope with a cover. This is a plastic cover. What's inside? Well, inside does the screen itself, the digital e-reader. So a, it is a 9 inches reader, but the size anyway, nevertheless, is uh, small and it is uh, comparable to that of a book. This is because there is no need of a keyboard since the, the reader is supposed to be touchscreen. So we find the on off button here that I press down and on the other side the volume button and uh, down we see the USB SD card earphones. So we wait for a second then of course there are some uh, there's a plug and a cable, USB cable and also some uh, short instructions warranty and so on so let us see what are the main functions on the menu of this e-reader the first thing that we see is that uh, uh, it is uh, the background is really grey, too much probably. Uh, you cannot probably see it from uh, from this video, but uh, you realize it uh, as soon as you compare this grey with the white of a page of a book. And uh, this grey is probably due to the fact that the technology that is used here is the CPIX technology instead of the e-ink technology used for instance by Kindle. Now the touch the touch screen is working good. Let us see for instance the manual. Now well um, it is Characters are not always very very visible. Look for instance at the B of web, of the E of browser and it gives more or less the impression of uh, the, the paper of the old faxes. Uh, it was a chemical paper, uh, grey, and you could not see really good the characters. It's not a good impression. It's not uh, really readable with pleasure. Anyway, we turn pages, we can do it with the buttons, like this, or you can do it by using the finger. It takes a second, probably. Let us do it again. This is page 2. Pop. We try again. Yes, this is page 5. Uh, this is due to the fact that we tried three times and the reaction is not immediate. It there is a lag. We do it again. Yes, here it works. It is not as fast as I expect it to be. It takes about 20 seconds to turn 10 pages, whereas Kindle, for instance, takes uh, 15 seconds to turn 10 pages. Try again. Now, there are some uh, functions that can be activated from, the, from this button or just with the finger. So we, we, I use the button here and you see for instance you can read the text. Let us try. There is a choice if from the beginning or from a word. We choose from uh, the beginning. Installing the Microst card into your device here 
device is equipped with a Micrast card slot. Mm, good, good, good. Okay. We can make annotations. We press here and we choose in which line we want the annotation to be, for instance here. Then a small book appears. We can leave it uh, like this and this is called a bookmark or we can make an annotation. This is what I suggest to be. Since uh, with the annotation you can write with whatever you want and you can find it more easily. For instance, we write uh, annotation 1. Annotation 1. There is a small leg between uh, the, 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 when you press the character and when it appears and then I save it. Okay. Now, there is a way, of course, to find the annotations on your book. You just press here and then a menu should appear. I'll try it again. Well, the menu should uh, should appear, but it takes some time. Some here it is, and you can see the annotations. For instance, let us press here. There are two annotations in the book: annotation one and what I call the annotation. So, if I go to annotation one. Here it is. So a very good way to annotate the book. This is not possible in Kindle, for instance, where you can use bookmarks, but you cannot define them. And uh, you can highlight or erase your highlight. For instance, if you want to highlight this, it takes some time, or you have to do it again. Hmm. Well, I'll try again. Here it is, and uh, or you can erase it. Probably take some practice, or you can uh, look at the dictionary. Now there is uh, there are three dictionaries, or more than three. It depends on the. And where you buy it, in Italy you have the uh, English Dictionary, Longman Dictionary, and uh, Italian English, English Italian. Here the, the setting is uh, with the Longman Dictionary, so if uh, I look at this word safely, then safely should appear. I'll try it again. Okay, here it is, safety, and it also spells it. Well, not really, but probably take some practice, or I, uh, one have to understand what what it means. But anyway, uh, we can rotate pages, not automatically, you have to press rotate, and here it is, wait for a second, okay, then we rotate again, and here we are back again. OK, so let us see what are the other functions of the e-reader. There is an audio player. And here I have just a song. It is very easy to upload songs or files from your PC. It is enough to connect the cable 
and then to put PDF files and books in the folder called book and audio files in the folder called audio. So let us try this one, a French song. Uh, adjust the volume. Well, good. It is pretty good. Okay, we stop it. Uh, there is a, an ebook store. Now uh, the connection uh, was set up before. I began and in Italy we have two, uh, one store, Simplissimo store, which have a drawback uh, uh, and I, I believe it does not depend on the store. Uh, you have to, every time you use it, you have to insert your uh, username and password again. So there is no way to make it remember to the to the device okay now there is also the possibility to look at the web the browser is quite elementary black and white of course or gray <laughs> gray and uh, and gray <laughs> and uh, for instance let us try Google I write the address. It takes some time to learn it. Or point .com instead. Yes, point .com. And here it is. Now, so you can write with the virtual keyboard and you can uh, move on the page with the fingers. You have to learn a little bit these movements. And uh, it is not, uh, this is not working, the scrolling here is not working, but uh, it works if you press the arrow here, but you have to have a very, very small finger, so it is not possible for me, for instance, but it worked. Not now, but... Uh, so it takes some practice to navigate, but you can, for instance, look at the, at the mail and so on. Okay, so let us look at the last function. There is a sketchpad here. Which is supposed to take notes. To be able to take notes. Well, for instance, it, take, it takes notes with your finger, so you can draw But uh, if you try with a pen, I have uh, three Wacom pens and none of them is working here. This is from the uh, Bamboo Pen and Touch, this is from the Cintiq tablet and this is for, uh, from an uh, Hewlett Packard tablet. But it does, uh, they, don't, they do not work. So, it is interesting but uh, not a professional uh, uh, notebook, I mean. So we clear the sketch and we come back to the menu. So this is the end of the review of the DR900 from ASUS. I'm Carlo, eepc.it.